In this video, we will be studying about the arithmetic mean. See, arithmetic mean is a simple average of all the items in the series. Let's say there is a series which writes the number of students in first class, second class, third class, fourth class, fifth class. And the number of students are 30, 60, 40, 70, and 50. So, arithmetic mean is the simple average of all the items in the series. These are the items in the series. So, what is the arithmetic mean? 60 plus 30 plus 40 plus 70 plus 50. Divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Which is equal to 60 plus 40, 100, 70 plus 30, 100. It's 250 divided by 5, which is 50. So the average number of students are 50. So in this way, we can say that arithmetic mean is the number which is obtained by adding value of all the items of the series and divided and dividing the total by the number of items mean it is the number which is obtained by adding the values of all the items of a series and dividing the total by the number of items. So this is the arithmetic mean. So the formula for in order to calculate the arithmetic mean is equal to sum of all the items divided by number of items is your arithmetic mean. And arithmetic mean is denoted by x bar. This is the sign of arithmetic mean. This is how you denote arithmetic mean. Now what are the types of arithmetic mean? See there are two types of arithmetic mean. That is simple arithmetic mean. Then the second is your weighted average. Weighted average are weighted arithmetic mean. Now your simple arithmetic mean. See we know the series statistical series. These are the individual series. discrete series and continuous series so we will be studying how to calculate the simple arithmetic mean in all these series of statistical data in the same way we will uh, learn to calculate the weighted arithmetic mean in all the above three series of data so what are the merits of arithmetic mean? One is simplicity. See arithmetic mean it is very simple to calculate in the viewpoints of calculation and usage. Arithmetic mean is the simplest of all the measures of central tendency. Second is your certainty. 
Arithmetic mean is a certain value. It has no scope for estimated value. It is calculated from the certain value which you have in your series based on all the items. All the items of the series are included in order to calculate the arithmetic mean. Algebraic treatment. Arithmetic mean is capable of further algebraic treatments. Stability. Arithmetic mean is a stable measure of central tendency. This is because change in the sample of series have minimum effect on the arithmetic mean. Basis of comparison. You can compare the arithmetic mean with the other, other things. So it is easily, it is very easy to compare. Accuracy test. The arithmetic mean can be tested for its accuracy as the representative value of the series are the statistical data so these are the merits of arithmetic mean now the demerits of arithmetic mean see effect of extreme value if i calculate the pocket money of class 9th child there is a child with a very rich family who gets 2000 as the pocket money per month the other children get Rupees 100, Rupees 80, Rupees 70 and Rupees 50. So while calculating the arithmetic mean what we will do we will add on the all the values of the series all the items divide by the number of items 5 so it is 2300 divided by 5 which is Rupees 460. So there are misleading results of the arithmetic mean. It is affected by the extreme value. Here the extreme value is 2000 rupees. It is oh, just because of 2000 the arithmetic mean what we got is 460 which is misleading. Right. The second we have is mean value may not be the figure in this series at all. Let's suppose we have a series 2, 3, 7 and we need to find out the arithmetic mean what we do 2 plus 3 plus 7 divided by 3. So this way we get the answer 4 as the arithmetic mean. The fourth, the answer 4 is not included in the series. The third is the laughable Conclusions. See, there are 50 students in class 11th, and there are 51 students in class 12th. And we find out the average students, what we get is 50 plus 51 divided by 2, which is 50.5 students. So can students be half? 50 students are okay but how can you measure a child as a half? So can you measure a child in a half? So this, this indeed are the very funny because there cannot be a half student. So there are sometimes the laughable conclusions of it. Unsuitability Arithmetic mean is not a suitable measure in the case of percentages or proportionate values. The fourth is misleading, misleading conclusions. See there are two factory, factory X and factory Y. And these, uh, these are the profits here. 2013, 14, 14, 15, and 15, 16. Let's see. Factory X earns the profit of 
1000 2000 and 3000 factory y earns the profit of 3000 2000 and 1000 so we can ca calculate the average profits so we will get 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 6 divided by 3 2000 rupees is your mean value that is the average profit same in the case here, 2000 is the mean value. But see here, here the profits are increasing, right? Whereas in factory Y, the profits are decreasing. So your mean value sometimes gives the misleading conclusions. So I hope you have understood the concept of arithmetic mean. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.